welcome to Venatus, Cuba. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. I hope I am at least. This is us on our horses making our way to where we are going to learn about how Cuban cigars are made or how they, the leaves are grown and dry. Uh, this is our guide Jesus in the back. Um, this is when we finally made our way close to the place where we are going to see pretty much everything from the planting of it to the seeds and to how exactly um, that they make tobacco. This gentleman was kind enough to help us get off our horses gracefully, so thank you so much. And um, as we move on, this this particular gentleman um, showed us pretty much the whole process of how cigars are made, from the seeds to the leaves to how they harvest them, um, and you also um, see how they dry them, just the whole entire process. We had an opportunity to actually smell the dry leaves and it's not what I expected. Um, it did not stink like I expected because some of the cigars I have smelled um, when I'm walking around the street stink. <laughs> but this one actually did not. It did smell like flowers, but it definitely did not smell bad. All right, now we're moving on. We're back on the horses, making our way to a new location to meet with Julio. He's a new gentleman that will um, teach us how honey and pollen and rum are made. This is Julio. So we had two different types of honey. You could see a lighter one and a darker one. The darker one was the first one that he had in his hand. And also pollen, how we can actually eat pollen and put pollen in our baked goods and yogurt and even eat it just like that. It has a good amount of nutritional values. I had no idea. I thought pollen was nothing more than something to make us all miserable during the spring season, but I was wrong. But I'm assuming also there are different types of pollen, and that one was very, very sweet. And um, I think the other one that makes us miserable is a different type of uh, pollen. But nonetheless, um, he let us taste um, the pollen and also the honey and the rum. There, I, we told Julio that we were learning, we learned salsa the day before, and he was like, okay, show me what you got. So I showed him what I got. I was like, okay. <laughs> Wanted to take a moment and say, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. I doubt it. I think okay. that one might be more. Okay, now we are heading to a cave. Our horses are over there. We're walking. Today, I don't think I've walked so much in my life in a long time. So now we're going to cave. We shall see. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi YouTube. Please like, subscribe, and share. Yes, what she said. <laughs> All right. As we were climbing up to get inside of the cave, because you have to go up, I had such a bad Charlie horse where we had to stop for a good five minutes for me to massage it in order for us to continue. I will give you guys a piece of advice. If you're not used to a lot of exercise, I would say at least try to stretch before even attempting this tour 
because it is a lot of um, walking and it is a lot of horseback riding, which if you're not used to it could also hurt your legs. So that's, I think that was the cause of my Charlie horse is the horseback riding more than the walking. So right there we're going in, um, well we're going up passing the cave and be, to, just to look at the scenery before we go inside of the cave. As you can see, this, this the view is just beautiful from that vintage point. And we were, I think, maybe about two or three stories high, if you're counting. And it was just beautiful up there. And now we're heading down so we can go inside of the cave that you see straight ahead. It looks kind of dark all the way on the inside, but it really wasn't once you get in. Um, it's a little bright outside, so that's why it looks much darker, but you could actually see pretty well when you get inside. This is the other end of the cave. Once you walk all the way through, this is the towards the back of the cave. That's the view from there, which is also oh gorgeous. The mountains, oh, beautiful. This was the end of our day, um, and it was a very long day. So we decided to go to a restaurant called Ron Ron Cubano Restaurant. We were eating family style, and it was fifteen dollars per person. 50, 15 US dollar per person. And we had rice, we had chicken, we had lobster, we had, um, what else did we have? We had a, um, a house drink, which you can choose to do that or you can choose to drink something else. And um, coffee and also dessert, which was awesome. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.